Catapult and Commissions family. What's up, team? Welcome back to this week's episode of the Catapult and Commissions podcast. I'm your host, Anthony Garcia. Today, we are back. Powerhouse Podcasting, Bakersfield, California. We are running a segment here over the next month and a half or so of live shows, live uh, in-studio audiences or in-studio guests. Let me rephrase that. So my guest is with me in studio today. Jamie Lynn Coda, welcome to the Catapult and Commissions podcast. Thank you for having me. I'm really excited to um, be here and just chit chat with you. Yeah, I think this is going to be a great conversation, Jamie Lynn. Now, let me tell a little bit about who you are okay. to, to the Catapults and Commissions family. Jamie Lynn is a modern day homemaker, a lover of Jesus. She's applied her successful entrepreneurial skills into her lifestyle, building her businesses while running her home. We're going to talk about that today. Jamie Lynn is married to JC Cotto. 14 years together, they own the family business, All Sound Music and ASM Dance Floors here in Bakersfield, California. She also homeschools her youngest child at, at home, or homeschools her children at home the ages of 12 and 2 while being a servant leader to the community. She is also the Mrs. Kern County. Uh, aside from running her household, Jamie Lynn holds an MBA and a certified life coach, running a successful health coaching business, and passionate about helping clients transform their lives to optimal health. All said and done, Jamie Lynn is a bona fide badass. She is, <laughs> we have a ton of background together. She's really modest about her entrepreneurial skills and her sales skills. So we're going to pull that out. So, Jamie, Jamie Lynn, let's, let's dive into this. Okay. All right. So, you run a variety of different things. I do. All right. So, give us a high level overview, what it is, is you do right now, and then we'll peel some layers back. Okay, so as you said, um, modern day homemaker, and what that really means is that I have applied my entrepreneur skills to really being able to run my home first, and then being able to run successful companies and businesses, like Anthony said. Um, it's been a blessing, um, but it is hard work. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> and so I'm able to still be at home, be present with my family while being successful and still contributing financially into my household. So it, um, it's awesome. I, I think 100%, you know, you live a life that many people want, right? You're, you're able at home, you're contributing financially. I, I'd love to your background, give us just a high level overview, your background before you got to this point, because you have a long background in sales. I do. That has helped you become who you are today. And that's that's where we're going with the show today, Catapults okay. Commissions Family. Jamie Lynn has all the sales skills we talked about and is applying them not only in in her business, but in her family, in her home. And, and, and you'll see all her social media tags in the show notes. Be sure to follow her. We're going to tag her husband, All Sound Music, JC Coda. It's another, you, you see what takes place when a business is customer focused, when a business is running on full steam and their sales process never feels cheesy. So I just tell us a little bit about your sales background. So, uh, wow. I started at a very young age. Um, I've been selling since I was five years old, if you can imagine that. Um, I knew that I always wanted to be in sales and I, man, my first sales job was right out of high school, actually. And from there on, I was introduced to a network marketing model. Um, but we all know, you know, we have to be able to learn skill sets and sales. Um, in fact, my very first professional um, outside sales job was with the Yellow Pages. And I had to go door to door. I mean, I put in work. When I tell you I put in work doing that, that was definitely um a open um it opened up my eyes into the world of sales but not more importantly it was um the beginning of me appreciating being able to earn commissions versus just earning you know money on a sales um hourly job commission uh, hourly job type of pay so um my background is man i've i've been selling for a very long time in fact that's where i met anthony um back then um and we were in the payroll industry together. Mm -hmm. And that was amazing. That was a season of my life that I was able to really hone in on my sales skills and um, really appreciate being able to generate the income that I needed um, at the time. And then I ventured off to being my own boss after that. And so I've been able to build businesses. I've been able to leave companies and build and help build more other companies. And now I decided to do it for myself. So 
<laughs> well, one, kudos on that, right? I mean, <laughs> let, let, let's peel a layer. I don't want to age you okay. and me, right? Okay. But <laughs> Yellow Pages is Catapult to right. Family. If you don't know what Yellow Pages are, <laughs> these are big, thick, stacked phone books <laughs> that used to be in every home and every business. It, right. would have, it would have your business listed. It would, it would be advertisements. Right. I know, you know, the world of, I, I can look up a phone number on my phone now. I mean, I can speak to Alexa or right. Siri or Google Home, whoever smart home device tells me information now before that you actually had a phone book and there was sales reps that would go door to door business to business solicitating ads right that's a grind very much so like there's there's nothing easy about that yep. uh you know and you and you 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 went on we spent some time together in the payroll industry which was also a b2b door to door grind where we did spend time mm-hmm. um calling on multiple businesses sharpening up those sales skills so right. here's the thing all those sales skills you learned okay. in the quote unquote corporate world, you right. said, okay, hey, I'm going to transition and I'm going to go work for myself. Right. There's people listening around and say, okay, I don't like, how do I, like, I don't even say, how do I start, but what skills do I have that are going to allow me to be successful for making that transition to working to myself? Okay. I'd love to hear your thoughts on that. I mean, you're, you're trained in one capacity. You're not doing any of that anymore. But you have the skills, and now you're successful working for yourself. How did that transition over? Well, first of all, I always had a plan um, to exit out of the corporate America world. Um, So you cannot leave just to say, hey, I'm starting my own business and I'm going to leave. I mean, I literally took my corporate job as education. Um, They were paying me to learn (laughs) those skills. Um, And so I, I did that for quite some time. And it wasn't overnight. You know, it was something that I put in work on a daily basis and the skills that I sharpened were, you know, discipline, um, customer service, following up with people, building relationships, because I believe that that's part of the sales that process that is now getting watered down. Um, it's not about the transaction and, you know, just making um, a, a certain amount of commission off of it. I mean, you're building relationships with these people so that whenever I left, I was able to go back to my clients and let them know, hey, this is what I'm doing now. And, you know, my clients were able to bless me and say, hey, I want to, I'm going to follow you wherever you're at. And, you know, if I, I'm, if I'm up of um, a resource to them, I can offer them the services that, you know, I'm offering. So I like to say that it was, it was a, um, a plan of action that I had set. Um, and I just kept putting in work, you know, putting in work until it was time for me to exit out gracefully. Well, I mean, one, having a plan, right? Not mm-hmm. everybody has that plan. Right. Um, people, who, and let me rephrase that. There's people who wish for that plan, right? right? They wish they show up to, to their, their Monday morning meetings for sales. They show up and they're like, F this place. I want to get out. I want to do something. You came about and said, okay, I'm going to create a plan and I'm going to have this plan to exit out and I'm going to take the skills that I learned. You talked about the relationship. Mm -hmm. There is a thought right now taking place in the marketplace where um, the, I guess I would say how you and I were trained many years ago, like this high pressure, always be closing, doing what you have to do to get the sale. Does that work when it's your own business? Yes and no. Um, if you put your integrity in the fore- forefront, um, the close is going to happen. So mm. for me, I've had to really switch that dynamics in the sales process where it's the mission before the commission for me. And I I say that like wholeheartedly because that is how I've been able to have successful, um, you know, track record of being able to be my own boss and run my own companies. And so at that point, I had to to do a, a pivot. You know, I'm still doing the same thing, but now I'm just doing it in a way where clients feel valued and they feel that, you know, I'm bringing something to them that they will pay for without me trying to sell them something, if that makes sense. 100%. <laughs> Those... I, I got to be honest with you. Those are two tweetable moments, and I'm going to find a way for my team to use that. <laughs> okay. if, if you said if you put your integrity in the forefront, the close will naturally happen. Right. The other one, it's the mission before the commission. Correct. I, I've never heard that. And I've been, I mean, <laughs> I've, been, I've talked to entrepreneurs and sales professionals around the world. I mean, we're on 130, 40 episodes right now. I, it's, 
those are some good statements, Jamie Lynn. I love, love what you're saying. So if your integrity is on the forefront, it's the mission before the commission, you're almost taking the concept of servant leadership. Absolutely. Applying it to your customers mm -hmm. and having that process. All right. So then, so then let me, let me play a little devil, devil's advocate for okay. you. All right. That's, that sounds great. Right. Right. It is. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. It, in theory, it sounds good. There's someone listening right now that's like, okay, I understand what Jamie Lynn's saying, and I agree. However, okay. I have a mortgage. I have bills. I right. have a family. I have a car payment. I have student loans. I have what debt. I have whatever it is they have that is mounting pressure to perform. Mm -hmm. And so how do you balance that? I mean, I'm assuming that pressure to to provide for your family didn't go away because you're like, oh, one day I'm corporate America, the next day I work for it's not like it just disappeared. So how do you balance that feeling while still focusing on your on that servant uh, leadership sales process? I think it's more or less um, it's not the pressure of being able to pay. Um, you really need to look into the areas of your own personal finances and see how you're managing that part because that was it for me too. Like, I'm like, oh my God, I got to pay this. I got to pay that. But at the end of the day, you got to pay anyway. So how are you, how are you going to be able to connect the two together and feel joy in what you're doing? Right. And so for me, I felt the I took off the pressure off myself, first of all, and I decided I'm going to focus on this instead of the finances part of it, because the money just happens to come and follow me, right? Like, I don't have an issue making money. That's why I I love and I appreciate being able to be on commission 100% because I can give myself my own raise. So in my brain, if I have to make X amount of money, then that means I got to I got to come up with a formula. What do I need to do to get that money with the sales or the transactions or, you know, what service I'm providing? How You know, I had to to reverse engineer that, so to speak. Right. Um, so we're always going to be faced with those kinds of things. But if you step back and you look at the situation, it's really not what you're focused on. That is putting pressure on you. Now you just got to take that and apply it and do more of, OK. I have to look at where I am spending my time and my money because I could be using that elsewhere to produce what I need to pay the mm. bills that I have. So I don't think in the commissions world, it's not a matter of being under pressure to produce. It's a matter of what do you want to produce and how are you going to do that? If you switch that mindset, the pressure is going to be off and you got to enjoy what you do too, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, I, I tell people I'm the worst person. When it comes to someone's like, hey, I hate my job. Because my right. response is then you should just quit. Like I <laughs> I am not, I am not the and that's probably my it's one of my downfalls in in sales leadership and management. Someone's like, hey, I'm not happy here, then like I'm not, I'm not here to convince your arm. Like you have to love what you're gonna do. I'll have a I'll have a candid conversation, I'll give you some thought-provoking questions. But within 10 or 15 minutes, like I'm not going to convince you to stay working for me. And if you're my friend and you come to me like I hate my job, like then you should you should 100 percent just quit. Because if you don't love what you're doing, you're not gonna be successful. There's but you're you're reverse engineering that process of saying, okay, I need to find what I want to make. Like there's, there's it's unlimited income when you work in a commission, commission. only, right? Yeah, it's absolutely. just it's what we do. So your approach is saying, okay, I have to have that plan in advance so I don't feel mm -hmm. that pressure. Right. Okay. Okay. Do you have any best practices on how you keep your plan intact? I mean, how do you how do you stay motivated? I mean, okay, so you so the answer is the plan, but how do you stay motivated with that plan? adversity is going to happen, right? You and I both know adversity happens. You have professional, you have personal, you have spiritual, you have familial. Mm -hmm. I mean, adversity comes in all shapes, sizes, and it's never planned. So how do you, how do you account for the, the challenges of life to still reverse engineer and hit your goals? So for me, I'm in the people business, right? I build people and the people build the business. Um, so from, I, People count on me to do my part, and then from there, I help other people get what they need to get done. I I don't I don't make it about myself anymore like I used to. I mean, man, when we were in corporate America, you know, it was either you and you said this, either you swim or you drown. Like mm -hmm. which one? Are you, you know, like and and I remember you telling me that, and I'm like, you know what? You're right. But if I can help enough people, you know, swim with me, mm -hmm. okay. 
we'll get there together. And, and, and that's the reward at the end of the day for me because of the business model that I've chosen to make my commissions, which is network marketing, mm -hmm. right? Um, if I help enough people get what they want, then in turn, what I want is going to come naturally. So I switched my focus just on, I'm going to sell that big, you know, um, account so that I can make $20,000 commission. Well, that's a long sales, you know, cycle to, to, to be in. Right. But if I can help, you know, 10 to 20 individuals make what they need to make. And then in turn, I get, you know, rewarded for that on a commission basis, residuals, that to me is far more rewarding than selling one big transaction. If that makes sense. Yeah. I think a hundred percent totally makes sense. In, in, in that concept of building these people to get you where you're going, and I do remember, you know, you either gonna swim or drown. Like it's, yeah. it's and it's funny, right? I people who work with me now, I I, I literally say, I tell them all the time, like, hey, when you're gonna sink or swim, like, right. and I I I'm at the point now where I'm like, hey, I'm not gonna let you drown, but I might let you swallow some water. Like, right, I'll come right. get you, but you're you're not gonna die, right? Right. <laughs> but in that that model there of building people around you and bringing people around you, what's what is the support system you have at home? Right. I, I, I talk a lot about this concept of, of accountability, of sphere of influence, who is uplifting you, who is in your life, how what is keeping you whole? Because this sounds great, Jamie Lynn, I'm going right. to be honest with you. Right. But if I peel layers back, you're still human. You still get frustrated. You still have challenges. Absolutely. So how what is that system like for you that keeps you whole uh, at home, that keeps you focused at home? I mean, number one is, you know, putting myself as a priority when it comes to my health. Mm -hmm. um, that is very important for me. And um, being in optimal health where, you know, my mindset is healthy, my um, my physical is healthy, my spiritual is healthy. So I've got. I plug into these different resources in order to be filled um, in those areas of my life so that I can pour out. So I do make myself a priority first mm -hmm. before I go and um, help other people. So that's been the big key in, in my life. I mean, I wake up, you know, while everybody's still asleep in my home and I go to the gym and I do my my devotions and I do my prayer, you know, all that stuff so that I can function at my, you know, my best. I can be my best to, when I'm in front of people, right? Um, yes, there are times where I do get frustrated, but, you know, that's when I have um, a support system. I have mentors in place to call for specific things um, and they s speak nothing but life into me, you know, and, and I know who those people are. So having people in your life for those kinds of things is very, very crucial to your success because if, you know, that quote says that you are the average of the five people you surround yourself with. So look at your circle. Do If you're if you're still at a stagnant and you're not feeling like you've grown or, you know, you're you're still the only person that they go to. It's time for another for a new circle. Revaluate, reevaluate. Right. So for me, self-care, um, taking care of myself and being a priority is important and, and it's non-negotiable. That's the thing. It's not negotiable. <laughs> I agree wholeheartedly. Mm -hmm. I think you put yourself first. Right. And you have that support system at home. It's it is one of those things. Right. You look at it and you say, if I want to accomplish something in life. Right. And I want to accomplish this big goal. It is really easy to hear it. And you can hear. And I, I even talk about it in catapulted commissions. You can hear your favorite speaker say, you have to hustle. You have to work hard. There has to be this uh, this passionate pursuit. Like, it's going to be difficult, but you have to enjoy the grind, the journey, blah, blah, blah. And I get it, and I'm not discrediting that. But what you just said, I also end on the book, and I say, hey, this sounds like a totally oxymoron. You have to take care of yourself first. Right. And you have to have a support system in place. Because no matter what you want to do, mm -hmm. you can't do it alone. Nope. And you're either being influenced in a positive direction or you're being influenced in a negative direction. Right. You choose who's going to influence you. So I love how you said that. So let's uh, I, I, let's let's switch gears here. OK. Mom. Wife. Business partner. OK. Mm -hmm. All in your own home. Uh, yes. All right. <laughs> so. I, I got to be honest with you. Right. There is. And, 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 and I, I co-own. A business with my wife right now right. Uh, nowhere near as long as 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 you have okay. so i know that th that presents challenges every once in a while 
I've been married. I know that that and alone has is requires work. Right. I'm a parent like you. Okay. I know that requires work. How in the world do you balance all of that and then find time to be successful in your business? Man. Okay. So I have this acronym systems. Okay. Save yourself time, energy, and money. That is like my mantra at home. Okay. So having systems in place for those specific areas of my life, which is being mom, wife, friend, um, business partner, all that has helped me a lot because I'm able to see clear <laughs> versus going crazy. Like, oh my God, I have to be here. I have to be there. So having these systems in place, um, and having my family know what the systems are has been a big, um, a big thing in, in my home. Um, you know, I, I have to learn how to take off one hat and put another hat on and the kids, my husband, they know when mom's working. Um, in fact, I have a sign that says mom is working, go ask your dad. So <laughs> they, they have, they, I have that sign right in front of my, my desk. Um, I flip it around and it says mom's working, go ask your dad. So when they're walking in and they see that, they already know not to even say, mom, I need this. So they're going to go to dad. Right. Um, so we've been able to balance, you know, home that way in terms of, you know, be, and I've given myself the permission to switch gears when I'm needed to be at work or, you know, be, um, the business owner or the mom or the wife. So, um, I think at, at one point, um, it was very frustrating. Um, and I was just, I felt like I was this person holding it all together and just performing. Right. And then one day I just said, you know what, I'm done. And Cause as soon as I let go of everything, the world is still going to revolve. Or, 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 it's still going to happen. Right. So I switched instead of me working for everything around me. Now I make everything work for me. So that's pretty much how we've been able to run successful companies at home and not kill each other, <laughs> you know, and go crazy. But at the end of the day, my husband is my my first and foremost number one supporter. He's my, you know, my confidant, my friend. He's my biggest mentor. And we have that established relationship with each other where I'm not doing this by myself. Like, it looks like I am, but I'm really not, obviously, like. I have a partner that is, we designed the lifestyle that we wanted and that's what we're doing because it's either that or we do it for someone else, you know? So. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I love, I love that. I love the systems. Save yeah. yourself time, energy, and money. Right. I can picture, I need one of those signs. <laughs> I, I definitely need one of those signs. Cause you know, I, I, I work from home a lot and so right. I'm, always on zoom or teams or something and i have i have an office but i always see these faces sticking through the windows in the office just waiting for me to respond and i'm like I'm it's, yeah it's the, the weirdest question is like i can't find the milk did you check the refrigerator in the garage <laughs> nope I swear it was two refrigerators in the house kid you know right. I mean, just little silly little things, things right mm -hmm. so i love that you 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 reference your relationship with your husband right your confidant your your advisor your mentor do you guys have, and this is this, I don't want to go too off topic on this, but do you guys have business meetings, family meetings, just the two of you, like planning meetings? We do. How we often do. do you do that? So every quarter, okay. um, we we have um one where we sit down together and we kind of just look at the overall picture, um, mm. house, home, home needs and business needs and things like that, um, areas that we want to improve. Um, you know, and, and so we have it once every quarter. And then in fact, just, just right before I was coming here, we started making notes of what we need to discuss for our next one, which is our fourth quarter coming into an end. So the way we work is we're already into next year's, um, <laughs> transactions, God willing that we'll be there next year, you know, but again, preparation and planning, you have to do it. That is non-negotiable as well. Um, and so we look at the next year of 2022 and we got to set those things in place already, especially, um, you know, with, because we serve clients for a living. I mean, they're counting on us to show up, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? So, um, so that, that's pretty much, um, yeah, we do have our, our business meetings, but then we also have our family meetings when it comes with the kids, 
um, so that they are on the same page and they're not feeling neglected and they're not feeling like, well, mom and dad is always working. Because that is one of the things that I never want my kids to say, well, you guys were always working, so you guys were never, you know, here or, or you couldn't make a game or you couldn't make, you know, an award ceremony or whatnot. Um, so the driving force behind me working so hard to design this lifestyle that we've created is for our kids, because at the end of the day, we are going to build these children up to do better than you know us right i want my kids to to surpass me in education to surpass me in you know income to surpass me in everything that they do because they have a model and that's the goal right um so yeah so we do have our family meetings and our business meetings i love that you you take the the work right people look in and say hey i'm a work I'm gonna work for myself or right. I'm gonna work, I'm gonna run, you know, you have, you have multiple business. You have a traditional uh, business where you, you, yeah, you have a traditional business model with, with, with your husband's business, all sound music, the ASM dance floors. Then you have your own uh, business, which is more on the modalities of network marketing. Mm-hmm. You, you're running it like a fortune 500 company though. You're right. running it with meetings. You're running it with get deadlines. You're running it with forecasting. All of those skills, Catapult to Commission's family, are developed in a sales career. I mean, it really is. How do I plan this and, and how do I how do I execute this? Uh, Jimmy, let's talk a little bit about your businesses. All right. Sure. So what services do you offer right now to your potential clients? So for me, me personally, what I offer my clients is education and health and wellness. Um, you know, we I am a certified uh health coach. So when I sit down with a client, we assess, you know, what areas of their health um, needs help in. And then I partner up with them and I help see them to their goal, um, whether it be in nutrition, whether it be in supplementation. Um, you know, it's, it's just, it's not a cookie cutter, you know, service that I offer or well, product or service mm-hmm. that I offer. But Again, it goes back to building relationships first. Um, I, I really make connections with my clients because seeing their day one to their transformation is like amazing. It's just beautiful to see somebody, you know, when I first meet with them, they're like at their wits end and they're like, oh my God, I can't do this anymore to where once they get to that optimal state or that, you know, um, health goal, they're like, oh my God, I gained my life back, you know? And and to me, that is far more worth than any um, money I could ever earn um, because I've invested my time. And um, and I and and yes, the back end of that, I do get paid very well for coaching my clients. <laughs> um, but again, mission before the commission for me, right? Like that. <laughs> oh, I, I love that. I mean, Jamie, I'm not gonna lie. I might say mission before the commission. Okay. 20 more times over the next year. Uh, I mean, I I look at it and say, okay, you're, you're focused on that client, the, the health, the wellness, a tailored plan for Mm -hmm. people, uh, which I think is fabulous in the aspect of you're saying, Hey, I'm going to, I'm going to work specifically for you. Mm -hmm. And we're going to put a plan together for you. Uh, Cause there is a group of people that fall in this health and wellness space that say, Hey, I see the most popular influencer and I'm going to do whatever the heck they're doing. Mm-hmm. So that doesn't always work nope. for everybody. No. Like it, it, it really doesn't. And there is, uh, there's things that work for people that don't work for others and vice versa. So you take that tailored approach it, when someone says, okay, I'm going to come to you and I want to talk with my health. What does optimum health mean? Like, what does that look like? Right. So optimal health, um, in my opinion, which is what I've um, ventured off to do for myself, is being healthy in the mind, body, spirit, and even in your finances. You know, I mean, what good is being healthy if um, you, what good is all of that if you're not able to financially be free as well too, right? Um, So I believe that those are areas um, that, are very important in one person's um, life. And so before I used to think, well, if only I lost, you know, 20 pounds, um, I'll be, I'll be healthy. I'll be happy. Or if only I can make a hundred grand a year, I'll be happy. I'll be healthy. Right. Um, I stopped, um, I stopped tying my goals to a specific result Mm -hmm. and I now tie it into an identity, Mm. if that makes sense. And my identity is being in optimal health so that I can serve 
my um, clients to the best that I can and be the best version that I can when I'm in front of people. So um, I actually learned that from Atomic Habits. Mm -hmm. Oh, that book changed my life. It was awesome because I was able to identify. I was already doing the things, but it was just a quick, like little hair hairline shift to where instead of now just tying it into a result, I now tie my goal or what have to you to a identity. And so that's what really helped me shift um, my whole like mindset and everything. And that's what makes me, in my opinion, um, better than I was yesterday. <laughs> you know? mm. So I I think, you know, tying that to an identity mm -hmm. is a total game changer. D did you and I talk about Atomic Habits? Or have, I, I don't re I, 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 I I was, remember, but my newest favorite book ever. Very I, I, much. I just finished it about uh, maybe three, four weeks ago. Yeah. Like when someone tells me what's your favorite book of all time, Atomic yeah. Habits is yeah. my favorite book. It's uh, awesome. I think the, the author, James Clear, I mean, I've, I subscribe to his stuff. I'm like, it. it mm -hmm. is truly game changing. So I, and you know, it's, it's funny, you know, I, you know, I wrote catapult to commissions, achieve your next sales goal. And it's really tailored on how to hit your next sales goal. And then I, I broke into atomic habits. I'm like, man, there is, there's a lot, there is, it, it literally has changed the way I think about things. And I'm like, mm -hmm. okay, how do I increase what I do on a daily basis? And how do I tie these goals to identities, which I think is a phenomenal, phenomenal topic. So I love how you take that optimal health, Mm -hmm. And you eliminate the, if I do this, mm -hmm. I will fill this. Right. Because we often associate goals. I mean, so much so, it's one of the exercises I do mm -hmm. with, 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 with coaching clients and sales executives. In order to achieve this, mm -hmm. I must do this. And that is a tactical strategy. But when it comes to your health, right. that, that, that can be like a yo-yo. Like, yeah. It, it's just, it's. <laughs> Obvi it, 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 even finances. And, and mm -hmm. I say this, I know some incredibly wealthy people and I know some people who aren't so wealthy. And I have heard people say, I've, I've known people firsthand that I have, that I've managed and mentor that I'm like, I just want to make 60 grand. And then I want to make a hundred grand. And then I want to make 200 grand. Mm -hmm. And now I want to make 300 grand. And I, and I have people who I've managed who gone from 60 to 300 and 400 grand. And I ask them, I'm like, is it still a number? And it's never a number anymore. Mm -mm. Right. It's, it's, what that number provides. So I love building that into your identity. Mm -hmm. um, all right, Jamie Lynn, on air, we got a few minutes left here. What are your business goals for 2022? Wow. Um, so, I mean, honestly, I, wow, my business goals is to, uh, I honestly want to um, focus more on my brand and um, being more of a resource to um, my clients. Like, I'm a wealthy person um, with resources, okay? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always learning. I'm always, you know, um, learning and, and being able to um, help others with what I know. So for me, um, I'm actually now in the process of adding financial education into my portfolio. So again, I talked about optimal health, um, being healthy, being in the mind, body, spirit. The finances is the last piece of that that I'm really ready to now educate people on um, and go forward with that. So that's going to be another um, area that I'm going to be offering. So, wow, I, I honestly, I, I'm already, I think... If I were to not not be here anymore in the world, I think I have lived a successful life, you know, and, and it doesn't have to be tied into the monetary side of it, but in the side and in that fact of I served my purpose, you know, my, my passion, um, I was able to fulfill that. And I don't have any regrets as far as, um, you know, I didn't make enough money or I never had this or I never had that because everything that I have, I don't lack. And so, yeah, so my business goal next year is to keep continue growing and to help more people as much as I can. Awesome. Well, you are definitely the person to do so. <laughs> Jamie Lynn, I've been completely impressed. I've been following Thank your you. journey on social media. Uh, you can catch her. Her IG is jalcota underscore mompreneur. You'll have that in the hashtag below. Is there any other place that the Catapulted Commissions family can find you or get connected with you? Uh, Facebook. Oh. I am on Facebook um, under Jamie Lynn Coda. 
Um, and you can follow me on there too. Not big on social media yet, but <laughs> I stick to what I know and um, those seem to work pretty <laughs> fine for me. <laughs> you know what? I, I will tell you this, Jamie Lynn, and I, I've said it, I've shared it on the show and, I, and I've shared my journey of building uh, social media pages. And I know people who have followings of hundreds of thousands of people but couldn't afford to put gas in their car right. and i also know people who have a following of 300 people who have you know half a million dollars sitting in the bank right now just right. waiting for no reason so right. i i see both sides of the yeah. spectrum so don't even worry about the social media component of it i mean i fun fact i don't even like social media i use social media i just for don't business. like yeah i don't yeah. like it and uh, i have gone through every gambit in the world of of manipulating and working and getting views and at the end of the day I'm just happy with the clients that I have that work with me and the people with sphere of influence. Right. So don't worry about that. <laughs> Kudos to you, Jamie Lynn. Jamie Lynn Coda. She is a the bona fide badass mompreneur Aww. that I think we all strive to be. She has taken her skills in corporate America. She has applied those skills mm -hmm. in her businesses, right? One in her uh, network marketing uh, businesses and modalities, but also in a traditional business here in Kern County where uh, she partners with her husband, All Sound Music, and they have uh, an incredible customer experience. And, and I share that with you, uh, knowing firsthand how awesome of a, a team they are. So be sure to get connected. We'll have all those links below. Jamie Lynn, thanks for joining the Catapult Thank Commissions you. podcast. Thank you very much. All right, Catapult to Commissions family, you know what to do. Like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you next week.